What's up, everybody? It's Thoom the Barbarian. And tonight I'm with my good friend. AC Gamer. And he's playing Demiro the High Elf, guys. What level are you, my friend? I am a level 29 cleric. I'm very, very close to actually leveling here, guys. Uh, about a bubble away. A little bit more than a bubble, actually. Just slightly more. Uh, we probably won't get there on this episode, but maybe here in a few, uh, we'll get to level 30. Now, how close are you to leveling? Uh, about halfway there. And Grimsa is kicking butt and taking names. So we're not going down there, guys, because we'd be in interfering with his camp, and I don't want to do that. Ooh, look how low he is. Huh? Level 24 on his health. Now, he does go into his berserk form because he is a warrior. So I don't really want to get him out of uh, his 40%. But I'm going to sit here and make sure he's going to survive this fight. I think he will because he's he's pretty cool with uh, you know just how easily he can kill these things. And uh, he's been running through this area nonstop and just uh, wrecking it. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But I like to you know help out where I can if I see somebody in need and, and give him a little bit of heal every once in a while. Because uh, they may return the favor. You may be over here having trouble and he may be running by and see that and jump in on the fight because uh, you've helped him out. So... It's always nice to just uh, look out for your fellow, you know, adventurers and and see where you can lend a hand. Now you're attacking right. this wizard, right? I am, and he is not going down in health. Why is that? Are you? Uh, is he in the target? wall? No, no, he's going uh, down. Uh, okay, all right. And he's doing an area effect right there. <laughs> Stop it! And I actually resisted it. It was uh, project lightning spell. Hmm. He's trying to lightning blast us. Oh man, that's. That, that stun came hurts. too late. Oh, okay, he just stunned me. Wow, he's nuking the crap out of me pretty good. Yeah, that spell is pretty wicked. Uh, I have to say I enjoy it. Something you guys got to oh. keep in mind when you're fighting these things and you're going to come in here solo and you're like, I'll just root it and kill him from afar. Yeah, that's definitely something you can do with most classes uh, or most creatures in here. But if you're going to take on the wizards... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh God, is that an ad? Uh, yeah, Oh, God, sure is that is. a name, Dad? He's, uh, he's blue. Let me oh, go. Okay. Let me go ahead and root him. All right. Okay, so he's rooted. If you want to pull this All thing right, back a little bit, yeah. Back in here, yeah. Over here, this should be good. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna kill Singe next. Uh, I wonder if he's named. He might be. For all I know, I mean, it's weird that he just spawned right on top of us. Or do you think he was roaming and we just didn't see it? Maybe it's the wizard's familiar or something like that. Now, when I tell you to root this guy, he'd be ready, man, because we definitely don't want him roaming. Yeah. It's tough enough to where you might actually. Uh, live for a few uh, walkabout. Now, as a warrior, you do get the ability to have different weapons. Yeah, go ahead and, and root it, brother. And Sorry, some bro. of the weapons here, actually, he's not running. Yeah, he's not running, so never mind. Some of the some of the weapons you get have status effects, or not status effects, but have effects that can uh, be cast Singe. onto the enemy. So I got you. Come on, Singe. Let me go ahead and root him so I can back up. Just yeah, uh, and that way it'll stick aggro on me. So, and that's fine with me, guys. I don't mind having the aggro. Now, what does he con to you? He cons even to me. Ooh, nice. So, it's going to be a good fight. A yeah, good experience for you. Unless he's just a tank, and then I think I have better weaponry than him. Yeah, I'm kicking his face in. So. Are you? I mean, you got him down to 90%. I mean, you're, you are doing damage. You might be right on that. He's probably a pet because he did kind of just spawn out of nowhere. Uh, although, it's kind of weird because wizards don't normally get pets. Yeah, why would it be a non-named wizard and he have a named pet, too? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I think all pets are named, aren't they? You see, I don't know. I thought that, no, no they're not, because that Teshmal uh, no pet in uh, Splitpaw was just named a Teshmal no pet. Okay, oh, well, then, uh, uh, then there might be something to that. Uh, again, we are not familiar with this zone. As you guys remember from the very uh, the last one that you just watched, if you watched the last one, uh, we got lost just <laughs> trying to find this zone. Like this don't is watch so that embarrassing. Yeah, don't please. watch that one. Uh, that Go one was. Go back and unwatch it. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't deleted that one. To be honest, that was just really embarrassing. Uh, it's all man. good, man. You know, we're like we haven't played in a while, guys. Oh, we haven't played this area in a while. So you know you. If you haven't done some, something since uh, 2004, there's a good chance that you might not remember exactly, uh, you know, what, what it was you did and how you did it. What and, was it, 11 years ago? And it's even, 11 years ago, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Even, even when I came here, it was with my Shadow Knight, and it was just to kind of look around because not a lot of people came here, as I mentioned before. Not a lot of groups. It was really a lot of solo action that uh, people would come over here and try to kill certain things. There would be one or two rooms that would be camped quite a bit. 
but even those would be just uh, that one spot and they wouldn't really go any further so you had to know how to get to that area to get into that room and you know, it just um, it was a little weird it's not like normal zones that you see and you could just see right there we had a lizard go through the wall there is a false wall right there that you can actually pass through uh, that will take you down where those double doors were and we'll show you where that was uh, in a little bit here if we go back that direction but Wow, this guy's really doing a lot of damage to you, man. Is he? Yeah, I, I guess he is. He's hitting me pretty good. Now, there is another warrior in there, and he's doing the technique of letting himself get down into his rage form. Okay, so I looted the goblin. You can loot Singe and see what's going on with the Singe-tastic one. Uh, well, you didn't have to do that, man. Oh, it's all good, man. Ooh. Uh, I like to share the loot with my with my the person healing me. What did he Ooh, drop? Ooh, look at that, guys. Let me go ahead and link it. Nice. Ooh. Two AC, three intelligence, and three agility. Oh, Not bad at all. Oh, hey. What, what do you have for your earring, man? Uh, I don't know. What do you have for yours? Uh, I don't need it because it doesn't add anything good for me. But if you I've need got it, plus three strength, so it would not be an upgrade for me, brother. No I mean, worries. it would Yeah. Then we'll, uh, well, the AC would be nice, but I would, I'd be missing my plus three strength. Are these guys running right by us? Uh, I wonder where they're going. Now, we're uh, not... We're not really worried about people uh, taking our... Oh, corpse run's where they're going. Yeah, corpse run. Oh, you think so? Why is this? Oh, Kirby. Oh, yeah, look, and he has a high-level shaman with him. Yeah. Let's back up a little bit so we don't get any of that aggro. Uh, Kirby's green to me, man. Yeah, so Kirby I is... I need help. Kirby is, but you can see right there in the background, there is a shaman with his epic. And I guarantee you the yeah. shaman with his epic, you know, doesn't need help with this. Wow. Uh, in, in pretty much in any way whatsoever, so... No, no, he's crushing... The life out of everything that exists you know um i was worried about losing a corpse here but i think man i think that we can uh, make a little like a little gnome or a little uh maybe even a dark elf rogue and we can come over here and sneak and hide and stuff like that and get our corpses and stuff so oh uh, yeah you know plus if you ever have any trouble you can always just ask the zone there's usually somebody in the zone that if you wait long enough you know even if you're just doing oc saying uh, is anybody near blah 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 whatever room to help drag my corpse back nobody replies an hour later you're still doing that at some point somebody's gonna feel sorry for you enough or get done doing whatever they're doing and be like hey man uh, do you still need help with your corpse because uh, I'll help get it or maybe they're running through the zone and they see your corpse and they'd be like dude uh, give me consent and I'll drag it to the entrance so just be persistent just kind of stay there uh, keep looking I know it's annoying there's two in here I don't know if we can handle two well, I can always law one. Let me go ahead and actually mim that real Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like that. I like that idea. I like it a lot. Now, hopefully this will take, but again, there's there's no guarantee on it. The better the spell, the the higher the How's chance your mana? on that one. I am at 63%. You want to you wanna try it with that or no? Uh, You go ahead and try and law one, man. If not, I believe that me and you might be actually be able to take two of these guys if you keep the off one rooted. Okay, I am lawing the uh, goblin right there in front of us. Okay, it took. If you want to go ahead and pull the other guy. All right. Oh, it's a young goblin, dude. We definitely could have taken these two. Pull him, pull him out of the room back over okay. here. You got it. Because that law will not last very long. And, uh, nope. you know, I kind of like this spot right here. We can kill that, that thing yeah, a little bit more yeah. often and maybe get a few more of these things because they're only magic items. They're not lore, so that means we can have multiples of these earrings, these hoops. And they're pretty nice, to be honest, guys. They may not go for a lot of money. Three intelligence is really good for a starter class. Three agility is also pretty nice, and the two AC is not bad. So this is a really nice thing to give to a necro, uh, especially a Shadow Knight. Shadow We're Knight good. would love that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good gift for our little uh, holiday giveaway, dude. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a good gift, yeah. Uh, and if not, we can sell it probably for around 40 or 50 k uh, I don't know what dream server you're talking about. Uh, I'm that, talking copper, about forty or fifty thousand copper. I don't even think the thirty or forty thousand copper. I that, no, probably not. All right, what is that? What is that? What is forty five thousand copper divided by hundred? <laughs> Are you serious? You want me to That's sit there and figure out the math yeah. on that one? Yeah, do um, it, dude. Do no, it. no, on. not gonna do that one. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, man. I'm sure somebody will leave it down in the comment section below. And if you do, guys, uh, yeah, I'll definitely give you a shout out. Oh, man, that that's just weird, though. I would not want to uh -oh. sit there and try to figure out the conversion on that one. So he is uh -oh. running, but I think you're going to be fine, man. Oh, yeah. This guy's still lulled. So uh, I'm going to pull him back. And I'll go ahead uh, and loot this guy real quick. What do you need? 15 silver and 12 copper. That's not bad. We can fight him in the room, actually. 
This is this oh, seems yeah, like a pretty I mean, good it's room. It's not gonna pop, but uh, yeah. Um, let me uh, actually get over here. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with fighting in small, confined places like this, the warrior, the cleric, they don't really have a an issue with walls and stuff like that. But enchanters, they have some spells that are line of sight. Uh, wizards, they have spells that are line of sight. They need to be able to see the mob without barrels or you know torches or even walls getting in the way. So if you have a corridor that is really narrow and things keep getting in the way, they may want you to pull to a room. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're the puller, when you're the tank, that you may want to keep in mind your surroundings when pulling to a certain spot and deciding whether you're going to stay there or not. And if you're ever kind of curious on whether this is a good spot or not, just ask the group. Ask if, you, if they're running into any issues with line of sight. And if they are, they definitely will let you know. And chances are, they're going to let you know long before you even ask. They're going to oh, be like, this place him, sucks. Ah, uh, crap. I, I didn't even have them targeted. Okay, let me... Yeah. There That's you my go. bad. I didn't think... I, I no, didn't no, think I should have been paying attention. Yeah, yeah. I should have been paying attention. Yeah, no, some of these mobs... Bad, I, I should have called it out, but I didn't think he was going to run because uh, they haven't been running. But this guy decided he was going to run. Yeah, some of these mobs don't. And some of them do. And it really seems to be more on the line of whether the mob stands a chance. If it seems like the mob is dying really, really quickly, uh, most of the time they will run from you. But if it seems like a very, very close fight, uh, even when you finally get them down really low, some of the time they won't even turn away from you to kind of just walk away or like try How's to walk man, away. Uh, I'm at 60%, so I'm good. To, okay, to yeah, we're exploring. good to move in. We're good to move in. Keep going. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, how many did you get? Bad, bad donkey. Okay, I'm going to go I ahead and root two. one. I'm going to go ahead and root uh, one and just uh, pull back. Now. Uh, go no, ahead, root, go, uh, go root ahead and pull uh, back. the pull cinder back. goblin. Okay. No, don't pull back that way. You don't know what's in that direction. Yeah, it's it's clear room. Yeah, you know I, that I now. Yeah, you just never know, man. No, you don't... I mean, I looked at it when I ran into it on accident without actually paying attention to where I was going. Okay. And I didn't, I mean, I didn't even... I didn't even do that either. I just got close enough to, to pull the one with by, that was by the door. I was trying to be careful, but I just got too close. And keep in mind, guys, that even though you're able to kind of go through this zone and kill the creatures, if you die, you're going to have to work your way back through all of this to get your corpses. Oh. So you may not want to go too far into the zone, or if you do, you definitely want to keep an eye out for which direction you went so that when you're about to die, you can run out and preferably die somewhere closer to the entrance. Okay, now this guy uh, broke roots. Let, let me, me know. Let me know if you need help in there, dude. Let me go ahead and root him. Nope, he interrupted. Jeez, these guys hit kind of hard. I got mine. There I got go. mine. He's so He's rooted. Okay. Now all I got to do, guys, is build up enough aggro so if he does break root again, he stays on me. So, oh, you should be fine. Yeah, we, I mean, we're good. The root mess thing works really well, guys. If you're if you're just a, a tank and a cleric, it works really well. So we're doing really good. Jeez. But AC's right. We definitely don't want to go too far into the zone because we never know when we're, I'm going to do something dumb like run into a room without really looking and get us killed. So, and we definitely don't want that. No, I think we should go a little bit further. There is uh, some more of that that clay over there, the the brick on that stuff. Now, keep in mind, that stuff is worth quite a bit of money. It weighs a lot, 14 pounds a piece, but you're going to get quite a bit of money from it. It also can be used for trade skills. So if you're working on that trade skill and you don't mind the weight and you don't really want to buy the stuff yourself, uh, this is a viable option for you to come over here and get that uh, and do that that trade skill. But I don't know. I would think that... Holy crap, dude. What's up? I just scored an 85 critical. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, that made me happy. <laughs> yes. Too bad it doesn't tell you what weapon you scored it with. Or actually, it should, right? Because it says it's going to be slashing or something. Yeah, no, I it think just says critical. Slashing. Uh, uh, it's got to be my. Uh, it's got to be my whip though, because I don't think my uh, my offhand sword could hit that. My jade sword could hit that good. You never know, man. You might be able to. Fine steel, sure sword. All right, we're gonna have to take turns with the fine steel, guys. No, so I, I think, think I think you're gonna actually loot all of it because I don't have the weight capacity to loot any of that stuff. So I'm gonna loot that brick of ore. I want to see how they sell for a pretty good amount, man. Okay, so we got a cinder goblin here, guys. Now the the way I ran into this door, guys, this is how this is how I got both of them. There was a goblin standing right here, and I couldn't see him. I was focused on the goblin that was standing right here, 
when I ran in. So I did not see this goblin at all. And that's why, you know, if that would have been a bad pull, if we'd have been like maybe a couple levels lower, I could have got me and AC both killed. So definitely go slow, guys. Check your corners. Well, on that one, there's not much you could do about it other than to know it. You yeah, know, we like, got a pull right here. This guy's a weakling, though, so no worries. You know, you're, you're not going to be able to see that guy unless, of course, you come over here and you change the angles of your view. Right. You can, you can that, change the yeah. angles and actually enter the, the room itself before you get there, and you'll be able to see that. So that's something you might actually have to do if you're very unfamiliar with the zone and you want to be extra careful, but it's going to slow you down a whole lot. But it's I could have worked out hallway a little bit better too. Like I could have got all the way to the left and uh, slowly edged forward. I could have saw that guy before. It's just me. I didn't see. Uh, I was. I only saw the one cinder goblin. So I just kind of rushed in there, and it was a dumb mistake, guys. You got to be careful when you're pulling. I mean, uh, AC's teaching me uh, what he knows, which is quite a considerable amount. But you know, it's going to take me learning from experience before I truly know how to be yeah. a great puller. And we've been kind of spoiled, guys. We've had a large group of friends to, to group with on a regular basis. And, you know, of course, with the holidays and with uh, other issues going on, we really don't have that, that group to be with us at this moment. So we're doing things on our own. And because of that, we're having to change the style of gameplay that we're accustomed to, which is interesting. It's kind of a, a nice little change to show you that, uh, you know, you can take on different roles depending on the situation. And uh, there might be certain situations where you're the main tank. Other times you're just an off tank. Other times you're the puller. Or you may be uh, a side, you know, healer or something along those lines. With my cleric, I've pretty much just been sitting in the back, standing <laughs> up and healing, sitting down, and doing that all over again. Now I'm having to law, I'm having to root, I'm having to uh, basically play the roles that other classes have been able to play far better than I can ever do. But because they're not here, I'm having to do it for them, at least to the best of my ability. And, you know, it's, it's, it's hit and miss sometimes. You know, if you try doing your root, yeah, root will stop them in place, but it also will cause them to turn and fight you for the rest of the fight, whereas snare will allow them to try to run away, and then they will just stop in their tracks while you sit there and beat them to death, and they won't actually be attacking you. Hey, see, will you root this guy, please? Uh, he's I about sure to... Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to run, but he's getting close to where he's going to, if he is. Okay, so he is rooted right now, guys. Let's go ahead and sit back down. And the fights are taking a lot longer, again, because we don't have the DPS, but because they're taking longer... I'm able to med during the fight, and my power is actually regenerating faster than I'm using it. So I'm at 78% right now. I was at 60 when we first started all these fights, so uh, we're, we're definitely yeah. making some progress. I think it's my AC, yeah. I think it's my AC. Did you loot the last one? I did, yeah. Go ahead and loot okay. everything, man. Yeah, right, I'm just so checking every so often to see what they have. Am I, I splitting my goal with you? It doesn't matter to me. I hate split, to be honest. I actually okay. uh, detest split because it just, uh, it, it just bogs you down with copper. I mean, you're really never going to get very much off of that. Even at higher levels, when the mobs start dropping a little bit more money, uh, copper is still going to be the, the most common thing you're going to get from that, and it's just uh, it's a little ridiculous. I do not like this. <laughs> I do not like this at all. Do you don't like my green eggs and ham, guys? Uh, uh, oh, oh, what's up? What's up, Grimstar? Ah, he's over here with us. Wow. Yeah. I wonder why. What, what's his life at? Uh, I don't know. Sixty-two uh, percent. Okay, yeah. Oh no, forty-four. Let him bind. Yeah, I'll let him bind. You're gonna bind him up. Bind him up, and then you might want to toss him a couple of hills. Yeah, probably. And he's uh, he's just wrecking everything over here, guys. So let's go ahead and loot his little leftovers. I don't think he'll mind too much. <laughs> <laughs> sexy sexy little warrior. Like warrior. That's right, dude. <laughs> dude, baby. There we go, 50% on that one. Let's go ahead and toss him a heal real quick. Uh, because he is a warrior, he's going to use a lot more life than the most classes that you're going to heal. So uh, he'll take maybe two or three heals to get him back up to full life. Yeah, so you get up to 90% with that. Oh, boop, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Cobalt, boop. man. They're they're amazing. They're, a they're absolutely uh, just so high on your AC that it's, it's it's hard to come up with a description for it because they don't really do a whole lot of other things, but the AC alone for a warrior is just uh, amazing. Uh, this is my first tune. He could do it. He could go over to High Pass and, and kill that stuff over there at, at his level. Yeah. Well, I wonder what level he is. I don't know, but I remember my, uh, <laughs> my, my very first character being so broke and not having anything nice. 
No, okay, so he's taken off. Okay, he's Ooh, gone. Okay. Drop? A bloodstone ring. Oh, it doesn't do anything. It's just a ring. Does it not? Well, he's probably cleared this way. Yeah, I but we, we can check it out. Yeah, let's check it out Just for sure. uh, don't go too far. Actually, Ooh, dust. Did, did I like we, drugs. Did Wait, we go no, around no. in a circle? Did you loot that ring or no? Yes. Okay, let me uh, I did not. I did not. Go ahead and loot that ring real quick. Okay, and we'll find um, out how much that sells when we finally leave this area, and uh, which might actually be between this episode and the next, because uh, we need to sell those ores because they will add. I up, need. Man. Yeah, I need to get some um, food and stuff too. So yeah. There's an invisible wall back here. Is there? Yeah, I noticed it because my. Oh, uh, uh, nice. <laughs> nice. I'm in third person right now, and I can see right through it. I love this song, oh, dude. Be very, very careful because we are really far in, and we've taken a lot of twists and turns. Everything's been blue so far. I've, I mean, everything's been blue, so everything's. I'm blue. not overly scared. The only thing I'm afraid of, afraid of is leading uh, AC. Oh, here's another wall. Oh God! Is there something in there? Yep. He did not see me. How did he not see me? Maybe he's green. Oh, because I'm in the wall. Oh man, I just messed up, bro. Oh crap! Okay, here we go. Yeah, this How many do we got? Best. Let me three let me of go, them. Let me go ahead and root one. I'm rooting one now. Okay, back up. Okay. I'm going to root another one. It's the one you're attacking, so you're going to have to switch to another target. Okay. okay. Uh, He's rooted. Back it up a little bit. I'm going to toss a heal on you, and you call it, man. I'm at uh, 58%. So uh, <laughs> if dude. you want to run it, we run it. Uh, we just need to yeah, call it on, now. Yeah, come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's you're going to run it? Yeah, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Before you run it, let me let me root this last guy, and then we'll we'll definitely run it here. Oh, what's your man at? Uh, 41% now. I think we could take it. I think you're doing enough damage. All right, damage. let's try it. Let's try it, dude. If the other roots break really quickly, then we might have an issue. But you're doing enough damage off of these guys that we should be fine. And again, if the root breaks, I'm going to back them up down the hallway. I'm going to root them down there. That way you don't have to move anymore yep. from where you're at. So uh, try not to heal me until, uh, yeah. I mean, berserk, going, me going berserk may actually be a, a good thing see, here. That, that's... I think you're right. I think these guys are dying fairly quick, so... I think, and they're not, none of them are casters, none of them are healers, so I think we got this. I think you're right. There we go. We got another guy here, so let me let me take him back over here a little ways, and I will root him. Oh, wow. He, he does a little bit of damage to me, though. Just maybe, be careful, maybe not man. To keep you. yourself there he goes. held. Yeah, keep yourself held. Okay. Yeah, I got these guys. These guys aren't hitting me very well, man. I mean, when they do hit me, they hit me hard, but they're not hitting me enough to to kill me so I think we've got this and after this fight we will go ahead and uh, start tracing ourselves back to the entrance yeah because uh, yeah, we we're can... probably gonna have to fight our way out of here majorly maybe I mean you know he's going back the same way we just came he's able to kill really quickly the warrior we just passed so I don't really think that's gonna be too big of an issue to be honest I think oh, we're gonna yeah, be able we to walk this. ourselves out but uh, you know I thought I killed us. I thought I killed us, but we got this. We're kicking the crap out of these things, man. Yeah, with that invisible wall, what you kind of wanted to do is change the angle of your, your, uh, you know, your, what do they call that? The positioning of your camera, basically, the camera angle, so that you can kind of tilt around you and see through the wall before you actually go there. I know it sounds like it's a pain in the butt, and it really, really is, but it's going to help you out. The other route broke. I don't see where he went. That's not That's a good not sign. Good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, oh. I need a root here. Oh, God. This is not going to be good, guys. Go through oh, that wall. Not. Do you see the other one? No. Come on, slam. Oh, man. That means, oh, there we go. That means he went through this door to That's get to good. us. That's not good. Let's go. Okay, let's yeah. go ahead and start. Let's, uh, let's run it. Yeah. Let's, let's go and start making a way. I'm going to let here. the clear go first. You got no, gate no, 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 no. You, you need to go first, man. You're the, you're oh, the warrior. Yeah. But do you have gate up? I do have gate. I always have gate up. Gate is something okay. you always right. want to keep up on any class that has that ability. So if we get in trouble, you just go ahead and gate out, and I'll try and hold aggro. Because we do have a loose goblin, guys. And usually that means we're probably going to have like 30 or 40 goblins down our head in no time. Well, the problem <laughs> is the aggro is already on me. I don't so know which way to go, dude. I'm lost. This, you... this way. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, keep an eye out for where you're going. Keep an eye out for okay, how to get back out. Well, now and... I know where I'm at. All right, so it's this way? No, no, it's back the other way. I was just checking to see. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Now, we are going to zone it I just like to be safe. I like the zone, man. I like the zone. We're going to have to come back here again. Maybe bring Dark Dragon uh, back over here. Okay, yeah. no. And there, where, where'd you go? I don't know. Where'd you go? Ah, uh, crap. There you are. Turn, come back over here. Turn around, okay. turn around, turn around. There you oh, are. there you are. Okay, how do we go up? This way. Back this way. 
Okay, so we want to go through this little area right here, oh, okay. and okay. this will lead us back to the entrance. Yeah, there we go. There's the entrance. So let's go ahead and zone it. I don't know whatever happened to that third guy. I did get a little bit of damage right there. Holy crap. What's oh, going yeah, on? it's, a, it's a, the booby trap, dude. It sliced off your booby. <laughs> Once again, my friend's booby has been sliced, guys. Okay, so there's a mob right here. Do you think this is the one we were looking for? No, no they not. were all flame goblins. Okay, so maybe let's... maybe somebody else uh, roaming the uh, the zone uh, picked him up. Picked no, him up and killed him. no, I don't think so. I think he's roaming around out there, just dragging hundreds now, and right hundreds of mobs. You're right next to the zone, so if you see me get mobbed, you know what to do. That's why I'm up here, man. <laughs> like, I'm not sitting down there with the chance that, uh, you know, this whole thing can go sideways very quickly. I'm this overweight. Is where, uh, this is why I hate this zone, guys. It's because of fighting on these stairs. Uh, I've fought on these stairs before, and I've actually, I think, uh, I think the wizards have a spell that will push you back. And I think that's how I ended up in the lava down there. Or maybe I just ran wrong or something like that. I don't know. I think you were trying to run a train through, and you just didn't go up the stairs the right way. Because as you can see, you can fall down the center. But if you look over here to the right, you can fall down that little crack as well. Are and you this serious? Is what happened? Did he oh, go through the wall? Cheap. He yeah, went through the wall, cheap. didn't he? Yeah. He, he did. He did. <laughs> well, no, no. Stay here. Stay here and come back up the little stairs, and we'll sit down, and he'll come back to us. Okay. Better. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to end the video here. I don't think we're going to get that train. I think somebody did pick him off, guys. We're all going to wait for this cinder goblin to come back so I can kill him in the Sit face. Down. But, uh, guys, make sure you go check out uh, AC Gamer's videos uh, and his channel. Guys, you're going to love it. I guarantee you're going to like the way you look. <laughs> and, okay, here we go, young goblin. What are you doing here, guy? And, anyway, guys, until next time, we'll, see, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Subscribe.